morning. Welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do, um, I don't know, I've been on the kick of these manly carp or galley. But this isn't going to be a country card. We're going to use the cowboy heat boots, as in this, and the guitar. We're going to cut all this up. We're going to do some fancy, fussy cutting today. And we're going to use this stamp set also for the music deal. And the leaves. I think that's it. And I forgot one more stamp set. And we are going to use a set of May May stamp for the howdy. And I'll have to get it out. I wasn't thinking. So, and then we are going to use the Ranger All Carver inks. And they are the Ramen Liberty. Liberty green, cobalt, and jet black stamp, uh, stamp pads. And you'll need a cotton ball for the, your cobalt blue. And I think that's it. And a stamp blocks. And I'll get a bigger one out. And I'm going to stamp is just to say hello set stamp and um, we're going to use the howdy. So I'm going to move all this out of my way and I've got an um, eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock already cut. i got a couple of those but anyways I'm going to um, stamp the guitar on the boots and you'll also need uh, markers. I use uh, Spectre Normals, um, TN5 and TN3. Excuse me. And I'm going to use the Jet Black to stamp the boot. And while I'm stamping, I'm going to stamp the guitar also with the jet black. Now, if you don't have the Rangers All Carver ink pads, you can use this for, with stamping up um, whatever you have. Just make sure this is a. Um, Okay, if you use an alcohol marker, is a dye, uh, dye base. Stay zone, black stay zone, jet black, or whatever they call that. And I'm cleaning my stamps off camera. And I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to put the ink pad, pad over the TN3 to begin with. And I'm just going to go in and call. And if you are on my Facebook group, you, you have seen a card similar to this. That I made up crop a few weeks ago. I need to do some more crops while I get motivated. But I've had, I've been sick. For most of you know, I've been sick. I've got, I'm getting over bronchitis now. Not counting all the surgeries I've had last year, but it's getting better. God's with me. And I'm not going to make y'all watch me do the fussy tip cutting. Oh, that's just ridiculous. And I'm not staying in line because I know I'm using, going to be cutting this out, doing fancy cutting.
And then I'm taking my T TM5. And I'm using the fine point. And I'm going to just go in and color the heel. Color the rim of the boots. And the buckle. And this. Okay, that's all I'm doing on those, and um, I'm going to cut these out, do some fussy cutting. I don't, if y'all know me, I don't like fussy cutting, but I do do it at times. Okay, I have got, I've done all the fussy cutting, and um, I've got my card base. And you'll need pop uh, pop dots. I've got those. I am doing good here. Okay. We don't need none of that on until we get ready. I am going to take the cobalt blue or cobalt ink pad and a cotton ball. And I have used this cotton ball. A few times. And this is actually a little bit darker than I wanted, but let me all with it maybe. I know this ain't smooth or nothing, but I don't want, I want it country fad. Look. Okay, I am going to take my music. This other set of stamp, Flower Board Notes, is what it's called. And I want to say it came off of Wish. I order a lot from Wish. I'm going to use the Jet Black Call for Ranger Ink. And this one's going to be a little longer card because of all the fussy cutting that I normally do. That's why I've done the fussy cutting offline. We well, already have to watch it. Okay, that being done, we're going to take the leaves on my smaller block and the green. Um, stamp. One see here. And another one in this corner. Mm. 
And yes, I am cleaning my stamps off camera for the ones that is wondering. Okay. We're going to put our boots here. And I'm going to use art little glue. I haven't used this in a while on videos. I ain't used much nothing in a while. Now, on this one, on the get charm, I am going to use pop dots. And these is just from um, Hobby Lobby, Paper Studio. And these ain't the ones I'm wanting. These ain't the ones I'm wanting. I'm wanting thick ones. More coming out of the still from Hobby Lobby. I buy a lot from Hobby Lobby too, y'all. For the ones that wants to know. Shut up, Toot. I'm going to just place this just like so. And now, cleaning up my mess. Put my pen back in my art riddle glue. And we're going to stamp Howdy. I don't know. I just thought this was cute how this came all out the other day. And I'm just going to place this on my acrylic block. And stamp it pretty good. Now I'm going to put the Y on the B, or the tail of the Y. And there we have it. And all we like, my stamp. And there is some mistakes, but that's what homemade is. I'm using the red. I say I am. And I'm just going to ink around the size. And I'm going to do a pretty good ink. See? And that's it. That's well, 15 video and probably 20-25 minutes counting how fast you can do the fa uh, fussy cutting. But we have a card made. And I want to thank y'all for joining us at Angie's Craft Corner today. I hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Love y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.